Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Epic Lake here, and I'm recording at 1.30 in the morning, which is not... Which is a, such a mistake, but I wanted to get this video out probably later today because uh, I have a lot of stuff going on. So today I want to talk about something very important, and it is why Hard Trek Room is not good this year. And one of the and the main culprit behind it is Ndidi, and I'm going to talk about why I'm going to talk about why Hard Trek Room was actually good in past formats, why it's not good now. Are there any ways you can maybe run Hard Trick Room and it works? So if you guys are excited for uh, this kind of video, especially like one down below, subscribe. I really like doing more analytical discussion based videos instead of just battle of content because I, I enjoy that more. Um, so. Uh, before I kind of get into it, I just want to let you know I was recently in the Nino Bros Poke Tour and I went six and three um, with the semi trick room team. And um, actually, I was really, really close to getting going seven tuning and cutting. Um, I had the reason I lost was my opponent's Golden Go lived two wild charges and he was at four percent afterwards. If if I got semi high rolls on the wild charges, I would have been able to pick up the knockout. Um, but that's unfortunate. You know, luck wasn't in my favor. I bring I bring that up. I was going on a tangent, but I bring uh, this uh, this Nino Bros Pokey Tour up because I was playing a semi hard trick room, not super hard trick room, but like a trick room centric team. Now, why this is important is because I faced a lot of people that were running Indeedee, um, but Indeedee with Imprison, and in past years, trick room has always been really hard trick room, especially has been really good. I know in 2020 and early on, I think it was either Malmo or Bochum or Bochum Regionals. Um, I think it was Bochum Regionals, Tobias, I forget his last name, but Tobias won Bochum Regionals with Hard Trick Room. Um, and so Hard Trick Room has always been really good in VGC, but this year it's not, and here is why. So for some reason, uh, there's this glitch or something, but Ndidi, Ndidi Female learns Trick Room. Now this wasn't an, now, Ndidi does learn Trick Room on its own if you just go to the Ndidi Male. Ndidi Male has Trick Room, but... Indeed, email is not too much of a problem just because it doesn't get access to follow me and it, it doesn't get access to follow me and it doesn't have the bulk. If you look at its stats, base 55 defense versus base 65 defense and it has less HP and it has um, less spadef. So overall that like those that distribution of bulk makes Indeed a bit better than mail Indeed. Um, but in DD Mail, the um, thing that it's had going for it is that it gets access to Trick Room, which in DD Female didn't, uh, never got. But for some reason, this gen, there was this sort of glitch where in DD Mail, or in DD Female actually gets Trick Room. And now in DD Female gets access to Trick Room and Imprison. Why this is very important is having a Trick Room and Imprison mod with Psychic Surge is completely different um, because in past formats, or like, because you can't just go turn one and taunt the Ndidi. Because a lot of the taunted users, while well, granted, uh, you can run manual taunt on faster users, such as maybe Fluttermane, to still set up Trick Room. But a lot of the taunted users that you're going to be using that are VGC relevant are going to be, mostly it's going to be prankster Pokemon like Murkrow. If you're going to see taunt on a team, it's going to be probably coming from like a Grimmsnarl, a Sableye, or a Murkrow, something like that. Um, not a lot of Pokemon that aren't Prankster are going to be using Taunt, which means that Psychic Search actually blocks that Taunt. Uh, what's really important there is basically it's very hard to stop the Saints in prison. Uh, you can run maybe a Focus Sash. Um, and so what that means is Trick Room teams become in, in dem or just become a lot more unreliable because if your opponent just leaves in DD, they can completely such, such you down. Unless you have a non-Prankster Taunt Pokemon, which is possible like you can run a non prankster taunt pokemon but it really limits your team building as a trick room team um so i didn't exactly i don't think it's the best um and it shows a lot of the trick room centric teams are not just hard trick room they're like like aaron brock's team from san diego it's hard trick room it's hard trick room but you have the side of dreadnought plus pelipper uh to help kind of round it out or you see like teams like mine i'm not going to go into detail about my team but teams like mine where i have you know, a Trick Room-centric team, but then I also have, like, a Tailwind option, and I have, like, one or two Pokemon that are semi-speedy, and then my Trick Room Pokemon aren't super-duper slow to the point where they are useless in Tailwind, where they can actually be faster than stuff in Tailwind. So it has that kind of dual modes to it. But before, in 2020, you could just run a hard Trick Room and get away with it and still have lots of success. Um, and in 2020, um, the strategies... Um, you know, let's say like Trick Room and Prison Pokemon in 2020, the main Trick Room and Prison Pokemon, um, if we look at, let's say, uh, let's just say we go here and we go to, um, uh, past gens, uh, probably wouldn't be in past gens. 
let's say we go to VGC 2022 and we look at actually let's do VGC yeah let's VGC 2022 and look at Trick and Prison Pokemon. You look at Trick and Prison Pokemon, disregard those. Um, but you were looking at um, Alakazam, but you're not going to be running Trick'em on that. You're going to be looking at Kofagrigus, but nobody ran Kofagrigus. Nobody ran these Pokemon. G Gothitelle, but you weren't running Trick'em in prison. Hatterene, but you weren't running Trick'em in prison. Indeedy, um, Indeedy is going to be running Trick'em in prison. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Indeedy will run Trick'em in prison. But if you're looking at the this list, none of these Pokemon are relevant other than Indeedy and Shindalore. Now, most commonly, people ran for their imprisoned user Chandelure just because Chandelure was more reliable just because it had good offensive stats while DD, I mean, it, it just was lacking compared to Chandelure. So in 2020, I, in the like the beginning of the year, I ran a hard trick room team. And that's actually how I earned a fourth of my world's invite is I ran an extremely hard trick room team, Rhyperior, Gastrodon, um, Grim Snarl, Torkoal, Dusclops, and there was another Pokemon, but I forget about it. But it was very... And Shinotic, I think. But it was a very uh, hard Trick Room team. Uh, but the Grimmsnarl, the Grimmsnarl was a prankster taunt Grimmsnarl because the idea was... Oh, I had Indeedy on there if I didn't mention it. Uh, but the idea was that, you know, they lead Chandelure, you lead Grimmsnarl, and you just taunt the Chandelure so they can't imprison you. So it was much... You had a lot better options in terms of like, okay, um... I have Grand Snarl for a taunt. Now, here's the thing. Indeedy male, or Indeedy female, because now it gets stricken in prison, like, there's almost no reason to run f the female version, um, or the male version. So, you're not going to be seeing... Indeedy female just become so much, became so much more prevalent um, because of that. Because in 2020, Indeedy male and Indeedy female had, like, different niches. They, dif they occupied different, yeah, different stuff. The female, you're following me direction. Your male is going to be your trick room in prison sash Pokemon, right? That's what they occupy. But now, because Indeedy female occupies both of those rules and it's much more common, it's, um, you you can't taunt as much because the Indeedy uses has rose, rose so much. So like in 2020, I could taunt the Trick'em and Prison users, but you can't do that anymore. And here's the thing with Trick'em and Prison users. Trick'em and Prison users, other than Chandelure, which is not in the game, like if you look at the list here, uh, if you look at Trick'em, let me change this back to VGC 23, Series 2, but if you look at Trick'em and Prison users right now, and I'm looking at Series 2 for this uh, video, Trick'em and Prison users, you are talking about, we have two relevant Trick'em and Prison users. We have Fluttermane and Indeedee. Now, and I guess Screamtail, but you're not going to be doing, uh, you're not going to be doing that. And, you know, you're not going to be running any of other of these Pokemon. Uh, Gallade can run Trick Room in Prison, but you're really restricting your, um, offenses and your move pull, which you don't want to do. So really the only meta, meta relevant Pokemon that get Trick Room in Prison are going to be Indeedy Female and Fluttermane. And the thing about Fluttermane is you don't want to run Trick Room in Prison because that means you're taking up two slots, like... I mean, yeah, you can run Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Trick Room in Prison, but then you're giving up Protect. Um, which isn't great, and you're giving up um, spread damage with Shadow Ball, or with a Dazzling Gleam. So it's not amazing either, but it is it is a good way because you are uh, you are Im immune to Fake Out, and you can actually taunt opposing um, Trick Room Prison users. So Fluttermane is actually a pretty good Trick Room Prison user, but it really restricts Fluttermane on like the set that it can use and the flexibility that it has in terms of with Protect and whatnot. So it's not my favorite set, but Indeedy also gets Trick'em in Prison. But you're looking at these two Pokemon, Fluttermane wants to be super hyper offensive, so it doesn't really want to fill that Trick'em in Prison role if it has to. And it can fill that role on a team, but it's not it's not really necessary. Uh, but Indeedy uh, fills that role so much better. Now, because it then can follow me and then it can support, so Indeedy becomes a better support Pokemon. I feel like, I feel like I've been rambling for a bit. So. What does this mean for Hard Trick Room? Well, in the past, in 2020, um, trick, Hard Trick Room was good. Hard Trick Room was good. It was really reliable to get up. And the only ways to really beat it were Trick Room Imprisoned Pokemon. The most popular Trick Room Imprisoned Pokemon was Chandelure, and you could taunt it. And Indeedy Mail was, a, uh, was used as a Trick Room Pokemon, but it was much, much less common. Um, then Chandelure was for its drawbacks because Chandelure had a better typing and more offensive potential. And also, it was a ghost type, so it was immune to fake out. And right? So, now you take 
the support side of Ndidi that can already fit well into a Trick Room team that Trick Room teams have already been using for years because it's good. It's proven to be good. You lead a Trick Room user, you lead Ndidi, and it's amazing. So you take Ndidi and you give a Trick Room and imprison. So you could run Psychic, you could run, or you could run like, yeah, Psychic, Follow me, trick him in prison. You could run if you're not feeling uh, being offensive. You could, uh, you know, you if you're running trick him in prison on DD, you might have to forego protect. But I still think it's okay just for the value that trick him in prison has on opposing in DD. Because what what that does is if you are using a semi trick room team, but also has like a super fast option, and your opponent's using a full on trick room team then you can just lead in DD, trick them in prison, and have your fast mode just go ham on them. So you can't really do that. So basically what this does is, because in DD is widespread and it forces your opponent to not be able to use their trick room option unless they have like very specific counterplay, like a non-prankster taunt Pokemon, which we do not see a lot of, um, then they're forcing uh, you, or you're forcing your opponent to be able, or that they have to that they can't use the trick room option. And so what this does is it forces a meta in which you you can run trick room teams and trick room teams are good, but going full on um, into trick room, doing like dedicating your team entirely to trick room um, can't work anymore. Or it can work, but it's not consistent because Ndidi usage is really high right now because it pairs great with Flutter Meaning, pairs great with Torkoal, pairs great with Trick Room, and that is all popular. But because Ndidi usage is so high, Trick Room and Prison sets are also really high, which means that if you're using a hard Trick Room team, it just doesn't work out. Because the usage is so high, it actually is a good counter to the type of teams that it's specifically made for. So that is why Ndidi kind of forces the hand of hard trick room teams. And that's why, you know, we saw the hard trick rooms of the team in the past do well, but Ndidi kind of just came in and flipped, uh, turned, the, uh, turned, that, turned that table. Um, because, okay, basically it's saying, I think the best way I can, um, not, not equate it, that's not the right word, but the best way I can, um, I don't know what I'm looking for, but the best way I can explain it is, so obviously in 2020, like I said, your two Trick Room and Prison users are your Chandelure and your NDD Mail. Now, in Chandelure was just better than NDD Mail at its job, so obviously you're going to use Chandelure. So that's like here, where Fluttermane is a Trick Room and Prison user, but NDD is just so much better that you commonly see NDD. Um, but anyways, I kind of rambled off enough about that let's go into specific pokemon that can gain access to taunt that you could use to your advantage to maybe stop a trick room in prison set up your own trick room and you need a pokemon that's going to be faster than ndd ndd without investment hits base 105 speed so let's say they are not a minus speed nature i don't think many ndd are going to be running speed so you want a pokemon that has a base speed higher um than uh let's say 85 and there's a couple of pokemon that you could go for actually quite a few um, that all get taunt um, But you're going to be looking at the list here and there is great tusk uh, I'm not looking at these Pokemon that aren't relevant I'm just going to be pointing out the more semi meta relevant Pokemon So if you're looking at Pokemon that can beat and that can taunt the NDD before they can get the trick from a prison You're going to be looking at great tusk Annihilate um, Although running taunt on Annihilate isn't ideal because its moves are actually very important and can it it prefers to run other moves um squawk ability but you're not gonna be using that so the uh, viable pokemon annihilate great tusk um potentially oricorio but i wouldn't run that on oricorio um mimikyu hydreigon but no one's gonna run taunt on hydreigon because you need that for another slot um palafin but you don't want to run taunt on palafin um, obviously Chi not in the game. Um, maybe Mouse Hole. Mouse Hole with Taunt could actually be good. Because, like, you don't, you might not need all four moves on Mouse Hole. Taunt could be a good tech. Gengar is not meta-relevant. Um, uh, all these Pokemon are meta-relevant. Meta Iron Valiant, while well, it is kind of semi-meta-relevant, you're not going to be running this. Roaring Moon, while you could run Taunt, you're going to be wasting it on an important move slot. Um... Meowth Scarlet could potentially run Taunt, but I don't think it's worth it. Fluttermane actually can run Taunt pretty well. Uh, Meowth Scarlet and Fluttermane, I think you could run Taunt on. Chimp House and Legal, um, and Talonflame. So you're only looking at about five meta-relevant Pokemon that actually can run Taunts without it affecting their moves. That's all too much. So you're looking at Fluttermane, Talonflame, Meowth Scarlet, um, Mousehold, um, 
Mimikyu, and um, Great Tusk. Th those are the Pokemon that can outspeed and um, deal and taunt the, um, let's say, taunt the Indeedee. But you're not going to be running Great Tusk as a taunt user because if they lead Armor Rouge Indeedee and they decide to just Expanding Force turn one, that kind of screws you over. So you can't really do that. Um, so, and these are all taunt Pokemon that help you get your Trick Room up if you think your opponent is going to try to deny you of Trick Room. But honestly, some of these Pokemon aren't fit for Trick Room teams. I can see Great Tusk working out well. Obviously, I mean, Talonflame isn't preferable on a team in which you're trying to set up your Trick Room if you are using Hard Trick Room, because you're not going to be running Talonflame on a Hard Trick Room team. Uh, you can run Meowth Girl on a Hard Trick Room team, like a Sash, um, just kind of have something outside of Trick Room. But there's not a lot of good options for like Taunt users that fit into like some Trick Rooms some hard trick room teams that can also outspeed Ndidi. Um, so that's kind of why Ndidi with Trick Room in Prison changes the metagame because no longer can people run hard trick room teams. Now, before I ramble on too much, that's basically the basic premise of the video. I just want to talk about that. The reason why I got this idea for this video, I was, I was texting my friend yesterday and he uh, he just uh, showed me a paste of a D D U D O U team, doubles, doubles O U team, and it was a hard trick room team. And I was like, well, that's great, but I don't think that's going to work for VGC specifically because the metagame is a little bit different. So I just wanted to make a video talking about that. And uh, I ran it on for about 17 minutes, um, but I hope you guys enjoy. I thought I gave kind of an in depth analysis into this. And I know I'd ramble a lot. I'm like BKC, <laughs> but I can't help it. <laughs> I think I, I think it's just fun to talk about Pokemon. Um, but I did keep this video under 20 minutes, so that's honestly pretty good for me. Um, if you guys did enjoy, smash the like button down below, subscribe. I will be making more analytical, analytical thought provoking content like this in the future. Um, and I definitely will be doing maybe some more battle videos, uh, whatever you guys throw in the comments below. What do you want to see? Anyways, guys, I'm Everglade Glade, and I'll see you all later. Peace.